Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I decided to make this video as kind of a follow-up to the visual pinball on Botticera video that I had already made. Uh, the reason for that is in that video I showed you how to get simple uh, VPX tables up and running that didn't really require anything else. In this one I thought we would walk through together the process of getting a pin MAME table up and running in Visual Pinball on Botticera. Uh, before we get started, I just wanted to point out that the Botticera wiki does have, uh, if you go to the systems page at uh, wiki.botticera.org systems, and if we scroll down to just about the bottom, uh, right here above this flat pack section, uh, you'll see there is a V pinball uh, section of the wiki now. It mostly contains the information from the info.txt file that's in the ROMs V pinball directory, uh, but it's still good information to have. Uh, and it, you know, under quick reference, you know, just to let you know, you put uh, your your VPX tables in user data ROMs V pinball, and they should be .vpx files. Uh, it does say for pin MAME, uh, many historical tables require the original ROM file extracted from the pinball machine to run. Uh, to play these tables, you need to put the proper ROM in .zip format into the user data slash system slash configs slash vpinball slash pin MAME slash ROMs folder. Uh, a few tables also require an NVRAM, uh, which is a .nv file. Uh, and you put that into uh, user data, system, configs, vpinball, pin MAME, nvram. Now, if these folders don't exist at this location for you on your Botticera system, just go ahead and create the folders. Uh, one called ROMs, one called nvram. Uh, I think I've only encountered so far one table that I needed a specific nvram file for to get it to work. Uh, and I can't remember which one that was off the top of my head, but uh, I will say, like, tracking down all of the files involved uh, can be a bit of a pain. Uh, I, I do have accounts on uh, vpforums.org and I think it's vpuniverse.com. And those are great places. And I also use archive.org to some degree uh, to actually locate the tables and download the, the table VPX files. Uh, I would really recommend you do it through somewhere like VP Forums or VP Universe uh, because not only can you find tables there, but you can find other people who've commented on the tables and asked questions. And a lot of times the author of the table has put it there for download and they'll, they'll tell you like, here's the ROM name you need or here's some additional media that you might want and any little caveats with using their table. Uh, so I think that's kind of the preferred way to find these. If you go on archive.org to find the VPX files, sometimes it's just going to be a mess just of folders and VPX files and no real context to go with it. Um, but yeah, so that, that's a way to find the actual tables, the VPX files. For tables that need the original ROM files, I can't tell you how to find those. Uh, but just know they're out there and you should be able to track them down uh, pretty easily uh, for the most part. Additional .vbs files. Uh, Visual Pinball uses VBScript as the scripting engine for tables. Uh, due to incomplete support in Wine, some tables will open briefly then close. These tables may be run with a modified .vbs script which can be found here. And they give a link to this place. Uh, it's this JSM174's uh, VPX standalone scripts uh, GitHub page. And as you can see, there are a lot of games listed here. Uh, so you just find the one. I have used this one to get a Medieval Madness table up and running. Uh, you just click on the game you need. 
and all you need, there's a couple of different ones here. Uh, so vbs.original, vbs.patch. You only need the, uh, you know, whatever the file name is, .vbs uh, for the table you're trying to get working. And I like to organize when I can all my VPX files into separate folders. So if my game is, say, Medieval Madness, I'll have everything involved with that VPX table in a folder that I call Medieval Madness. And I'll put that inside the ROMs slash vpinball folder. Uh, so I would take this VBS file and I would put it inside that folder. It goes in like the ROMs directory, the, the, the user data slash ROMs slash vpinball. Uh, just put it, put it in that directory with the uh, VPX file. So the VBS file goes in there too. Uh, but what they say is true. Uh, for Medieval Madness, for me, the table I had, it, I would launch it, and it would just look like it was starting up, and then it would exit. And so I went and got this VBS file, and that fixed it. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, here are all the paths. Uh, like we've discussed, uh, user data ROMs, vpinball. That's where your VPX table files, um, your direct uh, VTOOF, B2S files uh, and your .vbs files, they all go in here. Um, as well, if you have an ultra DMD, you know, like a table name .ultra DMD folder, it'll also go in here as well. And there is this note about uh, the .direct B2S files should match the .vpx file name. They should have, so whatever it is, whatever .vpx, the, it should also be whatever dot direct B2S. Uh, let's see, other important directories they have listed here. Uh, user data slash system slash configs slash vpinball slash pin name. Uh, you're going to find things in here, like that's where your ROMs directory is going to be for the pin main ROMs. That's where the NVRAM directory is going to be. Granted, most of the time you don't need to actually put anything in NVRAM, uh, but for pin main you are, in most cases, I think, going to actually need the uh, the ROM file to go in here. And remember, that just needs to be a .zip file, and we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, another important directory is user data system configs vpinball slash music. And it's the vpinball music directory. Put your music here, or in the same folder as your vpx file, in its own music folder. The music folder should be lowercase. And they give an example here. I, for any tables I've gotten that include a music folder with music in it, I don't tend to put them here. I just put them in the uh, same folder as the vpx file. Uh, keep in mind, almost every table I've downloaded that had a music folder in it, the M was capitalized. So you will need to change that or it will not work. You will need to make sure that the music folder is lowercase M U S I C. Uh, but yeah, I do, I do strongly uh, advise giving a read over this page. It's definitely got some good information. Uh, what I'm going to do is go to my desktop here, and I've got this folder called, I just called it Pinball. And inside, I've got Attack from Mars. It's a table. We're going to go ahead and extract this one. This is going to be our table. So inside there, there's just some PNG image files, and there's our VPX file. So because I like to keep things in folders anyway, I am just going to copy this whole folder. And I'm going to go to uh, my Bonacera system. Uh, ignore the, uh, for you, this would probably be the IP address or the uh, name of your Bonacera system. 
I dual boot my system between Botacera and Chimera OS. So uh, right now, uh, this is the name that uh, my router has for it. So, but this is my Botacera system. So we're gonna go to from share. We're gonna go to ROMs. We're gonna scroll down here until we see V Pinball. I have a V Pinball dash old. Uh, I was testing a lot and throwing a lot of tables in there and it was really disorganized. So for this video, I just renamed the vpinball folder and made a new empty one. So we're in vpinball. We're going to paste one folder. Shouldn't take very long. Okay, so that part's done. Uh, and then I have the BIOS file. And just to kind of show you what's inside here, um, it's just uh, a couple of, uh, a few different files and a bin file. Um, you know, it's whatever. If you look for MAME ROMs for these tables or pin MAME ROMs, uh, this is kind of what you'll find. Uh, but we don't need to actually extract this one. We want to take this, and I'm going to take this AFM underscore 113B.zip, uh, which is the appropriate ROM, for the attack from Mars table. I'm just gonna copy it and let's go to the Batacera system. I'm gonna go back to share. And from here, so we're essentially in the user data folder right now. So from here, I wanna go into system configs v pinball pin mame and I'm going to go into ROMs and I'm just going to paste that ROM file in .zip format so we, we see it there now the AFM underscore 113 B.zip so that is done so I can close out of here now I don't really need these. And I'm thinking uh, we probably don't need a, a, VP, uh, a VBS script for this, maybe. Uh, looking through here, there is one for Attack and Revenge from Mars, version 4.3, but I don't see one for uh, the Attack from Mars that I'm running, so I don't know. We'll find out, though. We will find out if we really need that. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take a moment and switch over to the Botacera system. Okay, so here we are on Botacera. So first thing to do is I'm going to go to game settings and update games lists. And try to locate uh, my visual pinball. There we go. Games one, because we just added Attack from Mars. And let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and try to launch it. It'll take a minute. You can see it kind of loading there at the top. It says factory settings restored, bookkeeping totals cleared. If I try to insert a coin with my controller, which is uh, the select button typically, or the start button, uh, nothing seems to be working. That's okay. Uh, I've had that happen on some of these tables uh, the first time I try to uh, launch the game. So I'm just gonna use the hotkey and start on my controller to exit. And let's try to launch it one more time. Okay, this time it's looking a lot better. So I'm gonna hit select. And it needs me for this game to put in two coins, so I hit select again. 
And I'm going to hit start. Yeah, I just did a little uh, camera adjustment because I could not see, uh, couldn't even see the flippers. But as you can see, the flippers are working with uh, the controller. Nudge, nudging the table works fine. Uh, yeah, so looks like for the most part, uh, this table's up and running. And to get most pin main ROMs up and running, uh, you're gonna follow the same steps. Uh, you'll need a VPX file for the table and uh, Sometimes there will be other files like music folders and uh, other, other things included with the VPX file. Uh, but the real big change here is these are going to require those MAME ROMs or pin MAME ROMs. So you will have to locate those on your own, but typically they aren't too hard to find. A lot of times I'll just Google the name of the table uh, that I take from the VPX file. Google the name of the table and something like pen main wrong or main wrong, and you'll generally be able to find what you're looking for. Uh, and like I said, a lot of times, uh, you know, searching the forums over on places like vpforums.org uh, for a table to find a ROM, like you may not always find the ROM there, but you'll generally be able to find at least people talking about it. And maybe the, you'll be able to at least learn the name of the ROM that you need to be looking for, for a particular table. Uh, but yeah, this is how you get pin main ROMs up and running. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please give me a like and go ahead and subscribe. By the way, uh, you know, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed. We're still a very small channel, but uh, you know, for me, it's huge. Like having any subscribers is huge. And we are, you know, into like the, the mid seventies now. And, you know, that's just amazing to me. Thank you all so much. And I hope that we can soon, you know, maybe hit a hundred subscribers. Uh, so thank you all very much for watching and I will see you on the next one.